Okay. All right. So this video is going to be about how my family uses the Instax Mini 90, specifically my daughter with autism. Over the last 10 months that we've had it, it's been really good for us. Uh, it is not a comparison video. It is not an unboxing video. There are plenty of those on YouTube, but I thought I would show you how we've used it and the accessories we've used with it and talk about what it can and can't do, what it is and is not, uh, the fun things that it has in store for you and its limitations. So um, this is the box it comes in. This is the one I'm talking about. I'll show it to you in a minute, the actual camera, but it's in the camera case that I have for it right now. Um, I decided to go with the Instax Mini 90 and not the other Instax for a couple of reasons, but the main one, the most important one, uh, is that at the time, this was the only one, actually it still is the only one, that you can turn the flash off. Every other Instax, uh, you, it just, it fires the flash every single time. Now I know a few months ago they put out a Model 70, that is supposed to be more, uh, a little more flexible. Uh, sometimes it, it might meter that it should turn the flash off, but it might not, and you have no control over it. So that's why I didn't get it. I was thinking about it, I thought, well, maybe because it looks like it has a better metering system and it might be better, but for me, being able to control the light is paramount, which is why, and also, Flash eats up a lot of battery, but we'll get into that. Okay, so one thing really, really important, and not that I mind it, but some people seem to flip out about it, is the Instax, the Fuji, is not a Polaroid. It's an instant camera. This is a Polaroid. And trust me, if you ever have a land camera, and you have to deal with uh, the messiness of a land camera and the inconvenience of a land camera and yes I know it, there's a beauty to it and I love Edwin Land and blah 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 um, this is the film for it by the way my, made by Fuji um, it's not a Polaroid um, they are two completely different cameras and um, it's another story for another time but this is its own beauty um, and this is its own, the Fuji is its own separate thing. So that's what we're going to talk about now. Okay, that out of the way. Um, 10 months ago, we got this camera and photography is very big in my household. Uh, everybody does it, expresses themselves in a different way. I, a lot of the times, use my camera phone. My husband uses his DSLR. I have a DSLR, but... Um, I haven't been able to get out and shoot a lot, and so my phone is always with me, and so I use my camera phone. Uh, my daughter, who is autistic, and this is what this really is about, is um, being able to share this family experience of art and photography with my daughter. Um, when we all go out as a family to shoot, when we get the opportunity to, uh, and this has been really good for her. This is the Instax Mini 90. Um, you'll notice I have a case for it, which I think is really important. This is a case logic. I believe the, um, I believe the catalog number is DCB-304. I also got this about 10 months ago from Amazon. At the time, it was very inexpensive. It was like $12 plus tax, so it was 13 bucks. Um, case logic is supposed to come with a 25 year warranty so far it's been great except along the edges there's a little bit of a little bit of wear but you know I'll call them and see if they will replace it if not 13 bucks I'm not gonna cry about it uh, and also I have other straps I can attach because this will unattach um, another thing about this case um, which is an important part of the experience of being able to go out. Um, it has extra pockets where you can put extra film, extra battery if you get it, which I highly recommend if you're going to shoot with the flash. And um, you can put your pictures, in case you can't see, you can put your pictures in here. Uh, I don't know, monitor, I'm using my phone to, to photograph this. So um, you can put your pictures in here 
and uh, while they're developing, it'll keep them safe, which is important because if you're out shooting and you have this picture, it's like, where do you put it? You don't want it to get scratched. Well, that's what the case is for. So, uh, Case Logic 304, sorry, DCB-304. And um, it's been really good. Uh, although it's getting really hard to find on Amazon. Um, so that's something that uh, I would try to look out for if you're seriously considering this. Okay, so it's about the camera, so I might as well take the camera out. Okay, as I said before, um, the main reason we got this camera, or I got this camera, was because you could control, I'm gonna turn it on here with the power, you can control the uh, flash. So right here you have these different modes, and obviously the lightning bolt, that lets you control the different modes, and right there, there's the universal no, the circle with the slash through it, over the lightning bolt, which means no flash. So that's really important because flash really sucks up your battery. And plus, it will completely wash out your picture. I mean, that close up with a, you're doing a selfie and forget it. You're just, you know, it's not going to work. So anyway, another reason why I really liked this camera was because it has a tripod mount. Okay, if we ever want to do still lifes, which is possible, you might. Um, and also it has a double exposure setting, which is really fun. My daughter took this shot by Luigi's Tires in California Adventure, Cars Land. And you can kind of see where there's the, the outline of the tire tower. And then she turned around and did the sign and I, I thought it was really cool. Anyway, so... Uh, that was a lot of fun too, and at the time that was the only one that had the uh, double exposure. I'm not sure if the 70 does, it might, um, but uh, well, that's a big deal. Now, um, I have found this camera to be really good with a lot of available light. Uh, um, for instance, here's a shot my daughter took, balloons against the sky. Um, here's another shot she took, you know, just pointing down the ground, Route 66, she's got a good eye. Um, <clears throat> and so it works really well with available light. Now, we did use a flash, or she used a flash, uh, a couple times. Like this one, this shot at Disneyland, we were standing in line, and it was really cute. This couple, they were engaged, and, um, she's wearing the little white hat, mouse ears with a veil and he's wearing a little tuxedo mouse ears and so she took this with a flash and it came out cute um but i also took the same shot with my camera phone and the camera phone metered better for it so you know it's instant film with the fuji is sort of an experiential thing um if it's if you're really into it and you like it you know it's for you um, this is what a shot will look like at night if you don't use the flash because um, it's just not equipped. It, the, the, the film isn't fast enough to take a shot that isn't blurry. Um, sometimes though you can get happy accidents. This also is a blurry shot, but I think it looks really cool actually. Let's just call it a happy accident. So, um, oh, and the last thing I want to talk about is if you do shoot at night, and you want to uh, use the flash, um, you're gonna need an extra battery. Now these aren't cheap, they're 29, 30 bucks, uh, but if you're serious about it, uh, you know, first get the camera, see if you really like it, but if you're serious about it, you're gonna want an extra battery, and professional photographers always carry around extra batteries with them, and it will fit in your case. That's why you gotta have a good case. Um, okay, so uh, also my experience has been uh, stick with the um, just the straight Fuji Instax mini film. Uh, I've tried to go, well we've done this one, the, uh, the one, the rainbow color one, and that's worked out okay. But I've tried different films where it's Fuji, but they, um, they have like, there was like an Alice in Wonderland border. And that just jammed the camera. And I got to tell you, having the camera jam with your autistic child is not a good thing. Uh, you know, 
it's I had to I had to distract her and you know take it out and basically ghost the film and put in a new <laughs> cartridge. Um, so that wasn't cool. So I would stay stick with fresh film, stick with the regular film, uh, and it's just been a really good experience. Um, the cause and effect, being able to take a picture and then uh, getting it and looking at it, have, holding it in your hand, um, <clears throat> because pictures should exist more than on just your memory card in your phone. Anyway. So that is my review. Thumbs up for it. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, last part about the 70. Uh, I think I mentioned it, but that is why I chose not to get the 70 is because of the uh, not being able to shut the flash off. I just want to reiterate that because it's really, really important. Being able to control the light is super, super important when you're taking shots. Um, and that's it. And we love it. And I recommend it. And I would still buy it today if I had the chance. So, all right. Take care.